OK, so in this video, we're going to look at histograms. And uh, I'm going to work with the same data that we had for the cumulative frequency curve um, for convenience. Um, the first thing I really want to explain is that histograms are like the bar chart for continuous data. OK, so bar charts are for discrete data. Histograms are for continuous data. And histogram bars don't have to have equal widths and it's all down to the class interval okay so the class interval for this grouping for example is one because going from five to six and there it's two okay so what you need to be clear on is how we actually draw one of these graphs so if I was to draw for example if I just went straight in and thought right well I'm going to plot a uh, frequency against the x values and let's say I'm going from 5, 6, 7, 8, OK? Uh, just to look at the first two here, um, here's 5, 10, 15, 20. OK, then if you went in straight in and went 5 to 6, is 5, so there's 5 to 6, and uh, 6 to 8 is 20. So, looks like that, OK? So that would be how you would plot it if you were plotting it against the frequency like that, which you might, that might be uh, your intuitive way in. But the problem is that this bar here looks considerably larger than that one there. In fact, if you have a think about how much bigger it is, We're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times larger than that one. When actually, frequency wise, this group is actually four times bigger than that one. So if you plot just uh, the histogram with, against the frequency and you draw the graph like this, then your graph will look skewed um, and it will look disproportionately favorable towards certain bars. OK, so this is not the correct way to draw a histogram. So to counteract that, we instead look at something called the frequency density. OK, the frequency density is a calculation so that we avoid that problem when we draw the graph. And you calculate it by getting your frequency and dividing it by the class width. So the frequency density will be 5 divided by 1. So just 5 in that case. This one will be 20 divided by 2. So that would be 10. Here we would have 15 divided by 2, so 7.5. And here we would have 10 divided by 4, so 2.5. Okay, so if I now plot the frequency density as the vertical axis and the x is the horizontal axis, then that will look better and will better represent the data. Okay, so frequency density, so um, let's go up in 2.5s. So 2.5, 5, 7.5, and 10. And we're going uh, to 14. So, um, so I did it quite narrow last time, didn't I? So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. A little bit better there. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. OK, it's kind of slanting down a bit. <laughs> That's OK. Obviously, if you were doing it on paper, it would be a bit more accurate. Uh, well, I hope so, anyway. Um, so 5 to 6, we were at 5. So 5 to 6, uh, du -du 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 -du, at 5, OK, like so. Then from 6 to 8, we're at 10. So as now compared with our previous graph, you can see that now this is a quarter of that one. Okay, if you think about 
dividing that up into quarters. Okay, so that it looks a lot better now, rather than uh, this one being eight times larger than that one. Eight to 10 is at 7.5. And then 10 to 14 is 2.5. Okay, so that would be my histogram. Okay, now what you need to be clear on with histograms, from GCSE, you would have been taught that the area is equal to the frequency. Okay, which in the case of this one, it is. OK, so the area of each of these blocks will be equal to the frequency. However, in general, this is not the case. And it really depends on how the graph is drawn, depending on the frequency density that you've been given. So instead, the area is proportional to the frequency. OK, so in other words, that means that the area is equal to some number k times the frequency. That's the formula idea that we're looking at. And perhaps what in one question you might have to find k, for example. Um, so in this case, k would be 1. Uh, but that is not necessarily the case in all examples. And we're going to see an example of this in a couple of videos' time.